Hello everyone, if we haven't met before my name is Kat, it is lovely to meet you. In this week's video I'm going to be talking about autumn and some cosy fall ideas to just get you into that kind of festive mood. Whether you live in a place where it's starting to look a lot more autumnal, you're seeing all the oranges and reds on the trees and the air's getting a wee bit crisper, or whether you live in a place where Things don't really feel that much cooler, it doesn't really feel that autumnal, but you really really want to get into that kind of fall mood, then this is the perfect video for you. Before I begin, make sure to like the video if you're excited about autumn, and subscribe if you're interested in this kind of content. I am going to be using this really cute adorable little orange Highland Coo notebook that my fiancé gave me, so if I'm looking down a wee bit that's what I'm looking at. Uh, but without further ado, let's begin! Number one is to decorate your house or bedroom in a fall theme. So there's a few different ways to do this, some more expensive than others. Uh, I personally like to bring kind of oranges and red colours into my home, whether that's with blankets or throw cushions. I love plaid as well, it just kind of helps me get into that autumnal fall mood. It reminds me of a wood log cabin out in the woods. Of course candles are a must. I love candles. Uh, they just bring a wee bit of coziness to the atmosphere, especially scented candles can just make everything in your house and your room smell amazing. If you are living in a rental and aren't able to use candles, you can get some fake candles which give that kind of cosy vibe or fairy lights and you can also use kind of autumnal scented infusers, maybe a wee pumpkin scented type thing to just kind of bring to life all your senses and just really get into that fall vibe. Of course another massive thing that you can do to bring fall into your home is to use nature. So you can go foraging out in nature, maybe pick up some pine cones or some apples or even go and buy some pumpkins and decorate your home that way. I think that bringing nature into the home is a really beautiful way to just kind of have that seasonal autumnal feeling. Another really cheap way that I like to decorate my home in a kind of fall theme without going out and buying lots of autumn decor is to actually theme my room using books. So in the spring and summer time I had a kind of green theme and I had lots of green books out but now that autumn's come I'm getting some kind of like autumnal orangey kind of coloured books, stacking them up next to my bedstand and uh, just around my home just to kind of bring about that autumnal feeling without spending too much extra money. I think that there's also something about books and academia and the going back to school kind of vibe that is also kind of encapsulated in the fall theme. The second idea is to try a fall or autumn kind of themed DIY. So maybe something like an autumnal themed wreath or even to make garlands or to do a painting or something along those lines in the kind of orangey, autumnal, pumpkin-y, apple-y kind of theme is another great way to get into the fall mood and also you can use it to decorate your home which is great. Now I've talked a lot about apples and pumpkins and what better way to incorporate apples and pumpkins into your life than to bake them in autumnal sweet treats. So I'm thinking something like pumpkin pie or maybe an apple pie. The main ingredient that I stock up in in autumn time is cinnamon and mixed spice. I feel like just adding that to little things, I even add it into my porridge in the morning, just kind of helps me to get into that autumn vibe and it's also just a really cosy, wholesome thing to do to spend an afternoon baking and sharing your baked treats with loved ones. Personally, I find that autumn feels like a very nostalgic time and it's the perfect time, especially if it's getting a wee bit rainier in that, to light a candle and read some cosy books. Some fall themed kind of childhood nostalgic books are perfect. My personal favourites are things like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings and especially older classics such as Jane Austen, Elizabeth Gaskell or maybe even Sherlock Holmes. That's one of the series that I'm planning to start reading this year. 
If you're not really that much into reading, you could also substitute this with a cosy movie afternoon or evening with some autumn themed treats to come alongside it. One of my favourite things to do in fall is to go on a walk and take a fall picnic. I think that sometimes we think about autumn as being a wee bit too chilly for picnics but actually it's such a beautiful time, it's often a lot quieter and the leaves are just so beautiful. If you just bundle up with some jumpers and jackets and maybe bring a flask of hot tea with you then it's honestly just such a cosy wholesome thing to do and it's so lovely to just breathe in the fresh Share and clear your head as well. So another beautiful fall idea is to journal by candlelight. It's such a cosy and wholesome thing to do. Some journaling prompts include writing about what you're grateful for and what you enjoy about autumn or maybe you want to get kind of nostalgic and maybe write about past autumns and your happiest memories over the years in autumn time or even to reminisce about summertime and bring a bit of that summer glow into your fall as well. A kind of old school fall idea is to write letters. I personally love to maybe even make little cards and write a letter to a loved one, find their address, stamp it, maybe even include a little gift in there. If they live in a place where they don't really tend to get the autumn colours, you could include a wee autumn leaf or something like that if you live in a place that has the autumn colours or you could include a piece of fall themed artwork or even a tea bag or something like that so that they can enjoy a cosy drink on you. So this next one is something that I've been doing a lot more recently and that is foraging. Uh, this is a fantastic season for foraging for apples and blackberries and then bringing them home and baking some sweet treats with them or having a jam making afternoon. Now one of our major fall holidays in the UK is bonfire night so I have to include having a bonfire or a campfire and toasting marshmallows over it. There's just nothing quite like gathering around a fire with loved ones and just chatting and singing campfire songs and listening to music. Now if you really want to get into the fall mood a perfect way to do that is to update your wardrobe in a fall theme. Now this doesn't necessarily mean wearing bright orange, I personally don't think that I suit orange that well but I tend to kind of bring in warmer tones like deep reds and even wearing more plaid, woolly jumpers, woolly socks, all that kind of thing just gives that kind of cosy fall feeling. If you live in a place where it's still way too warm you can just incorporate the fall colours in or even fall patterns in without actually layering up or getting absolutely roasting from what you're wearing. Often when the weather is starting to get a wee bit rainier and a wee bit cloudier it can be tempting just to sit inside but it can just be really refreshing and also kind of romantic to go out for a walk in the rain with an umbrella and bring a loved one along if you want but even just a walk alone in the rain with a cup of coffee it's such a wholesome thing to do and it makes you just enjoy being inside once you get back in even more. The next fall idea is to write an autumn inspired poem. I would have thought that I'd have written an autumn poem by now but I've not so I'm thinking this is probably something I'm going to try this year. Doesn't matter if you feel like it's good or not, it's just about the creative process and entering into that spirit of creativity and learning to notice and appreciate all the beauty around you and I think poetry is a perfect vehicle to help us do that. I absolutely love books and what I love more than books is lots of books so spending an afternoon in a bookshop or a library is just such a cosy thing to do. There's something about the smell of the books and the quiet peacefulness of libraries and bookshops that just brings me such a deep sense of peace and personally I find it super super cosy and would definitely recommend it. Uh, we have some beautiful bookshops here in Scotland and a lot of them have cafes in them so you can even like browse around the books, buy some that you like and then sit and get a pumpkin spice latte or another autumnal themed drink and for me that's like a perfect afternoon. The next one I've only done once and it turned out horrendously but I feel like it's a fall ideas video and it would be weird if I didn't include it and that is to buy a pumpkin and carve it. I've heard that it's a very fun thing to do. I 
slightly mutilated the pumpkin that I tried to carve a few years ago so I don't know if I'm going to attempt this again I might just buy pumpkins and paint them or just put them around my house or make food with them because that's more my domain uh, but if you fancy it definitely try carving a pumpkin if you've not done it before or if you've not done it since childhood it's also a really kind of playful fun way to just pass by the peaceful autumn afternoons. I think that as nature slows down and autumn starts to set in it's just the perfect opportunity to take some space to spend some time with loved ones uh, maybe take a Saturday afternoon play some board games or do a jigsaw puzzle there's just something about doing something together a kind of active thing where the only purpose of it is really to spend time with each other and so I would definitely recommend doing that. It also gives slightly Christmassy vibes. I know we're not at Christmas yet but fall starts to get me into that mood so forgive me if I start bringing it up over the next few months. The next one is another really cosy one and that is to sit and gaze out of the window on a windy or rainy day. I think there's something so powerful and beautiful about a stormy autumn's day. I love watching all the leaves flying about and the rain pattering on the window makes me feel so cosy inside so that's definitely something I'd recommend. Put a cosy jumper on, get a mug of hot chocolate and just get really cosy and daydream for a little bit. Now the final one is a kind of more productive one and that is just to spend an afternoon doing life admin but making it cosy and nice. So maybe do your laundry or catch up on your finances but maybe put on some nice music and light some candles and make it a kind of fall ritual. It's the perfect way to start a new season and clear the head and make you feel more fresh and prepared especially in a season where maybe there's less general physical activity going on and a lot more pumpkin pie eating and that sort of thing. I hope you enjoyed the video as you can probably tell I love autumn and I'm very very excited about it. Thank you so much for joining me for it. Again my name is Kat if we haven't met before. If you love this kind of content then definitely consider subscribing. Next week I've got a video all about hygge and how to get cozy. It's a wee bit more outdoorsy as well so if you're into that kind of thing if if you love nature then definitely hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be updated when that video comes out. Finally let me know in the comments what your favourite autumn activities are to do but until next time it was lovely to have you here.